Bring us your baffling. Bring us your audacious. We want your sticky notes, sketchbooks, and scribbles. Let's pin them to the wall, kick them around. Kick them around, see what happens. Because we're in the how do I get this startup off the ground business. The taking your business, global business. We're in the problem solving business. 400,000 people. Ready to help you solve problems while they're still called opportunities. opportunities. From figuring it out to getting it done. We're here to help. Hi, I'm Mark Scafini. Welcome to another episode of Z360. We start off today with a little bit of a different flavor. Our own Scott Nixon talks to tennis senior Martina Zerbola in her native tongue, Spanish. Hola, Scott Nixon con Z360. Yo estoy aquí con Martina Zerbola. Ella es un jugadora de tenis para la Universidad de Akron. ¿Cómo estás, chica? Muy bien, ¿y tú? Muy bien. Un poco nervioso porque tú eres muy bonita. Uh, ma, primer pregunta, ¿de dónde eres? Uh, soy de Argentina. ¿Hace cuántos años juegas tenis? Uh, juego tenis desde los cuatro años. Uh, serían 19 años jugando al tenis. ¿Por qué tú juegas tenis? Um, juego al tenis porque a mis padres uh, les gusta el deporte y luego comencé a jugar porque amo jugar el tenis y amo la actividad física, el deporte, la adrenalina y me gusta que no tengo que pensar, solo estoy jugando, me divierto. ¿Cuál es tu uh, parte favorito sobre tenis? Um, uh, en América me gusta viajar, me gustan mis teammates, uh, el coach, uh, todo, la experiencia es uh, increíble. ¿Cuál es tu especialidad? Oh, uh, Contabilidad. ¿A ti te gusta matemáticas? Mm, me encanta matemáticas. Oh. Ah, no me gusta. <laughs> y final, habla sobre tu año final en Akron. Um, es un poco triste terminar uh, mis años de tenis en Akron. Uh, ha sido una experiencia con muchos altibajos, up and downs. Um, pero me llevo recuerdos muy buenos del coach, de mis teammates. Um, es un poco triste que mis mejores amigos estén jugando Madison. Uh, o Luisa, uh, que ha venido este año y es freshman, y no he podido pasar mucho tiempo con ella, pero soy muy contenta, especialmente esta temporada. Eh, estoy jugando mejor, me siento muy tranquila, eh, porque es lo último y, y no quiero, no regrets. <laughs> muy bien, gracias Martina. Gracias, Scott. And last weekend saw a bunch of zips from the past get honored into the Athletic Hall of Fame. Here's a recap of who made it in this year. What does this honor mean to me? Um, I think number one, it just is, didn't expect it at all. Um, it was, you know, when you're going through your career at Akron, you really don't think about, you know, the awards and all that stuff. You just go out and do it. Well, I don't think I have maybe a, a specific um, memory. I think like just being a, a part of the team, uh, because coming from the background, background where I was in Poland, we really did not have, it was, uh, track and field was uh, with a different spirit and here Akron it seems like uh, there's a lot of power uh, people looking after track and field uh, make it really happen and just being part of it and experiencing teammates uh, support all of that was I think the best experience for me <laughs> it, you know what it, it's it was a, so much a part of my life football was it was started to uh, when I started my career I, uh, if, if here at Akron um, I learned so much here, and, and it was a new world for me coming out of high school, coming to college, and it was great to play for someone local like Akron, and then to be inducted into the Hall of Fame, it really did mean a lot to me. Akron helped shape my life. Um, I moved here 30 years ago and uh, finished my degree and came back and worked. My children grew up here. They chased soccer balls around the field while I worked. Um, it really, the University of Akron has really been kind of part of our family for the last 30 years. So it's been a very important part of, um, of our growing up. It means great for me and my family. It's a big honor, I think, for all the years that I've followed uh, 
sports here at Akron, U football, soccer, basketball, women's basketball. So, you know, I've always enjoyed and I've tried to give back to the Akron U in any way I can. I never thought we'd be here, but uh, we've worked hard and uh, I'm glad we're here. It was a great experience coming to the University of Akron. I came from Sandusky, Ohio. So coming to the University of Akron, uh, you know, with the coaches and everything, uh, they, they pro provided us with the necessary discipline for us to, uh, to excel, you know, on the, on the field and off the field. So I commend the coaches for doing what they did for us. Akron gave me the opportunity of a lifetime. Um, I feel like I made the most of it. And um, at this point, to have this kind of award uh, lets me know that it was a real thing. You know, so um, I really appreciate the university for, for giving me the opportunity and um, I hope I was as good to the university as the university was good to me. So. And our final story today comes from men's basketball. Peter Agba's journey to become a Zip started all the way back in Nigeria. I'm originally from Nigeria. When I first uh, came to the United States, I was in Virginia. I stayed in Virginia for a year. Then I moved down to Greensboro, North Carolina. So from Greensboro, North Carolina, that's a big transition here to Akron, Ohio. Oh yeah, Nigeria uh, is, is really a uh, huge difference because the lifestyle here is different from back home in Nigeria. So when I came down here, I just have to adjust. Like they said, uh, when you go to the room, you behave like the Romans. Started playing basketball late. So I started uh, basketball because one of, one, of, one of the basketball coach saw me playing soccer on the street. You know, soccer is pretty popular in Africa. Every kid on the street wants to play soccer. Every kid loves soccer so much. You know, people don't really care much about basketball in Africa. So, you know, soccer is really big. So he saw me playing soccer on the street. He said, no, I don't think uh, this, this is your game. You might, you might hurt your ankle, you might hurt your knee. I think basketball is where you need to start playing. And he took me down to a basketball camp where I was opportunity to meet Akim Olajuwon, uh, Farouk Camino that plays for the Portland Blazers, Amik Sejibaka. So I met, I met a lot of NBA guys that play for Africa. So that was from there, that was how, they, that was how the road to basketball started. Rick McFadden saw him play in an AAU event and saw this guy that went after every single rebound and played with tremendous passion. Uh, and then we got to know him and we thought he was a wonderful young man, just a personable, guy that had been through a lot of things in his life, was a long way from home, had learned English uh, remarkably well, and we just knew he was a perfect fit for our program. So we try to surround ourselves with great people, and Peter Agba is a great, great young man, and we're just thankful that he's here. I would say, first thing, when I first came down here, my English wasn't that good, so I just have to, it's kind of, you know, when you move down to a different environment or a different uh, country, you just have to start afresh. So I had to start afresh, they have to start teaching me English. So from there, I picked it up. It was, it, it was, a, big, uh, it was a big transition though, and uh, I loved it. Well, he gets better every day. And the one thing he has is that heart and determination. A uh, very bright young man. Uh, and just thankful for the opportunities that he gets. I think he's less spoiled than most of the guys we have because, you know, he hasn't been totally Americanized yet. And so uh, I've just been impressed even with his improvement in his language, uh, how he adapts to different situations, and probably most importantly, how he adapted to the snow because he probably hadn't seen a lot of that. I would say I want to go home home, which is Nigeria, because it's been like four years I haven't seen my family. It's tough. I do talk to them on the phone, I do Skype them, but I don't really want to go home and see them because I miss my family a lot. His people in North Carolina are terrific people. Uh, you can tell his mother did an unbelievable job raising him. Uh, just, just a high quality person, that's all I can say. And I don't think you can, you can uh, downplay that in the least. They don't really make guys like him anymore. That'll wrap up this episode of Z360. I'm Mark Scafidi. Now next week there won't be a show, but join us the following week as we wrap up what happens with the men's and women's Mac basketball tournaments.